So Jameson, we've talked a little bit about the facility. You've walked me through your test bed. Why don't you talk about the first round of testing we've done here in this facility? Okay. So our first test is throughput versus distance. What we aim to do here is see how the throughput goes down as we move a client successively away from the access point and introduce obstacles which reduce the signal strength. So this is what you'd find in a real world environment, right? You're not stationary in wireless. As you move to, throughout your own environment, your performance is going to change. Exactly. And also a test that if you're looking at vendors yourself, you're going to want to perform, right? You don't want to just see what's the drag race next to the AP. You want to see how that performance changes. Yep, exactly. So talk to me a little bit about how you uh, set up this test. So for our setup, we mounted every AP in the exact same location. Okay, so the location right behind us. Yes. Okay. And then for our client, we had four different locations. Starting here, at the most basic and the, the best case, going all the way out to the almost most challenging case or worst case. So give me a little bit more detail about those locations. Okay, location A, which is basically an open air, 30 feet away from the access point. This is the best case, the best drag race throughput you could get. Okay, and what about that next location? Location B is uh, actually 70 feet away with three walls in between the client and access point. Okay, so, so, so somebody associated to an access point might be in their office. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Not in the same room, okay. but a little bit away. Okay. What's location C like? Location C gets a bit more challenging, 120 feet away with seven intervening walls. Okay. And that last location? Location D. Now that's the challenging one. Mm -hmm. 150 feet away with 10 walls in between the AP and client. And that sounds pretty challenging. That's, that's really, in a real world environment, you probably would have roamed to that next access point, but we're testing the extremes of performance mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. We want to see what happens in the best case and the worst case. Okay, really showing off the differences in radio and antenna design. Perfect. So uh, talk to me a little bit about the test tools you use for this exact test. So we use Ixia's Chariot to send downstream TCP traffic from mm -hmm. AP to client. Okay. And we tested in each frequency band. So we test in first the 5 gigahertz band with a 40, 40 megahertz channel and then 2-4 band with a 20 megahertz channel. So 11 and supporting both frequencies, you want to ensure that you're testing both. Exactly. Very cool. So Jameson, you talked earlier about what throughput versus distance testing is and how we do it. We're joined here by Mir Alami of the technical marketing team. Mir's gonna run an actual live throughput test uh, here over the network, and maybe you can give a little bit of color on what Mir's doing here. So Mir's actually sitting at the Chariot console. What he's gonna do as he starts the test is send a command to each endpoint, the wired endpoint and the wireless endpoint. We're gonna measure downstream throughput, downstream TCP throughput, from AP to client. Okay, so this is really acting as the command center then for that particular test. Exactly. So that's what this laptop is doing here. What's this other laptop for? This laptop right here, we're actually using Cisco Spectrum Expert to monitor the airwaves. We have a Cisco Spectrum Analysis Card and a piece of software that lets us visually depict the airwaves so we can make sure no interference is jeopardizing our test results. So this is really enforcing the fact that you brought up earlier that we are really isolated, that no other wireless network, that any RF is generated over the network really is only coming from us. Exactly. Anything you see on here, any RF, is because we are actually generating that over the air during our test. So uh, I'm sure by now uh, Chariot has gone and finished his test. Mir, why don't you uh, tell people what we got? Well, Sean, um, we just got 177 megabits per second, and this is darn good. That is pretty good. Here are the results from the 2.4 gigahertz throughput versus distance test. Here you can see that there's a tight grouping at 30 feet where every vendor, except for HP, delivers above 70 megabits per second. That's because up close, everyone can deliver decent performance. What's notable in this test is that HP only delivered 11G speeds because they only have one 11 on radio in their APs, and that was tested in the 5 gigahertz band. Now as distance starts to increase, Aruba and Motorola notably fall off, almost like a waterfall, where Cisco continues to deliver outstanding performance all the way out to 150 feet. At this 150 foot location, Cisco provided 30 megabits per second, where other vendors couldn't even provide even 1 megabit per second speeds. Now, Let's examine the 5 gigahertz results. In this test case, every vendor delivers over 110 megabits per second 
at 30 feet, with Cisco leading the pack with over 170 megabits per second at this particular location. As distances increased, Motorola's performance quickly falls down, whereas Cisco consistently provides best-in-class throughput all the way out to 150 feet. This chart summarizes the results from both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz test, allowing us to directly compare each vendor's performance. In every test location, and for both frequency bands, Cisco's access point outperformed the competition. When the testing results for each location were averaged, Cisco outperformed the competition by as much as 169% in the 2.4 GHz band and as much as 64% in the 5 GHz band. This clearly demonstrates the superior RF design and performance of Cisco's 802.11n solution.